next one heal as much generational curses as you can while you're in your singlehood because it may shift the entire spectrum of who you become who you choose for a mate and how that translates into your lifestyle about dealing with issues in your life in yourself that things that you see in your family affect how you translate or perceive relationships so let's say if you're born in a family where divorce is not a big deal like it's taken lightly and a marriage you know commitment i'm going to use commitment instead of marriage is taken lightly you will find that you will also perceive relationships in the same way that is a generational curse i know people think generational curses are things where you need to pour holy water or anointing oil or fast for a thousand years for them to break but sometimes generational curses are simply broken by the choices you make by the healing you partake of you know so if you find yourself like for example people with daddy issues people with mommy issues if you know you have gone through um broken families there is probably a lot you need to heal in that situation before you get into a relationship and for those who are in healthy relationships you can both do it at the same time you know you can both go through things like therapy or prayer or the bible to heal these things you understand and please if you have other ideas of how to break generational curses include it in the comments below so that we can all help each other you know i'm basically pointing out things that are i can think of right now and you know stuff like books and all that number 15 we have a lot if they don't inspire purpose in you they definitely are not the one if you've stopped dreaming or creating or having goals since being with them they absolutely without a doubt are not the one so number one people always ask how do you know someone is the one you know I'm not there yet but I assure you if they are killing your purpose they are not the one if they are not elevating your purpose they are not the one if you're not even thinking about your purpose or since you started being with them they are not the one you can hate me all you want but please check the Bible everyone that God united with someone served a purpose and they accomplished their purpose that is how you know the one you understand and also if you want me to be so specific please go check isaac yeah so abraham when abraham was looking was selecting a wife or sending out his servant to select a wife for his son he said pick his wife from this certain uh, caliber of people and if you do not find a woman there please do not pick any you understand i don't know the verse so please find the verse read it and see like marriage you know people have idolized relationships they don't even get the the sanctity of what god has called them or birthed them to be people live for relationships instead of relationships being a bonus point you understand and i'm not saying relationships are not important i'm just saying like intimate relationships so you are females and males and whatever you know preference of relationship you're in because this is an all-inclusive platform like please check if someone is killing your purpose they are not for you they are not the one i do not even need to be a prophet to tell you this or a medium or whatever whatever sacred power you believe in i do not need to be that to know that whoever kills your purpose or stops your purpose from living is not the one point blank simple if you do not carry anything from this thing just know if it is not growing your purpose they are not the one Nivo to next one stop idolizing human beings and intimacy it is divinely okay to be single whether as a parent or an individual so this is what i mean by this there is nothing wrong with a single parent dating i'm going to say this again for the kids who feel like they need to hold back their parents from meeting their soulmates there is nothing wrong with a single parent getting into a relationship with a good person i'm going to say a good person because there are a lot of characters in this world a good person there is nothing wrong with an individual of whatever status in life being single get that 
There is also nothing wrong with an individual wanting marriage or an individual being in marriage. You understand? It is okay for both single people to be single and it is okay for people in relationships to be in relationships. What do I mean by this? You do not need to fight each other because or name call people because they are not in a certain relationship where you feel like it holds value relationships do not hold value to people god does your value lies in god not in the obsession of idolizing human beings these people let me tell you and i'm not trying to be rude but if you live your life idolizing human beings i want you to remember this people there are people who are meant to be together they meet they live a perfect life then one is called home by god then what does that person do if they've been idolizing this person? They keep living. I know people will give a lot of answers, but the answer is <laughs> they keep on living. Because why? There is life after love. Because why? Because God is the giver of life, not human beings. So never put your value in human beings. Never idolize human beings. Meaning what? Never idolize intimate relationships. Understand? My take. Ah, yeah. Next, the best kind of love is the one found while you've immersed in serving God and isn't spent living to find a mate, but instead are living fully in serving God, being kind to yourself and enjoying life wisely. If you want love in your life, stop looking for love. You know, like let it find you, like live your life, enjoy your life, serve God's purpose, live your best life. You understand? Because relationship relationships are work let's put it simple it is not all applause applause all the time it takes work it takes a commitment it takes a consideration of the other person every time you make a decision it has to include the other person so please if you're single enjoy your singlehood and if you don't believe me please check people who have had healthy relationships for long years they always say because i speak to a lot of old older people who have had long marriages they always say in your singlehood in your youthfulness enjoy your life enjoy your individuality travel no as my grandmother loves to say know your country you know like know your relationships understand all those things so that when you get into relationships you already know who you are what you're about you know what you like what sort of person complements your lifestyle and all that and not to say that there are things you will not change when you get into a relationship of course there are things that will change when you get into a relationship so the more reason why you need to enjoy your singlehood the next one is the only past held against you is the one you will not let go of I know people are like, um, I remember this female who almost got married to this uh, popular person. They are both popular, but you know, you know what I'm trying to mean. And I remember when she was either engaged or about to be engaged, people started coming with receipts. She has dated this one, she has slept with that one, she has done that, she has done this, she was with me, she was with you, she was with them. And it was like, come on, like that's the past. And I was, and thank God this female is now engaged, married, happy, and a mother because she did not allow her past to dictate her life. Never allow people to dictate your life, even when it comes to relationships. If you made mistakes in the past, okay, you made them. You know, it's like spilled water. You cannot go to the ground to ask for that spilled water, you know, unless it is a miracle and faith again, because I believe in faith and miracles. So don't let or allow anything to hold the past against you. If you want to start new, who is going to stop you? You know, unless you stop yourself, unless you allow yourself. You know, do you remember like that quote about no one can make me feel inferior without my permission that is the same attitude you need to go with everywhere in your life even in your relationships and if anyone is holding your past against you you can do better you get on to the next one next one is write down your vision pray on it and leave it in god's responsibility so 
people who have lists i know they say lists are bad but i want you to check everyone who has literally gotten what they want most of them they have lists if they do not have lists they have a list in their mind they know what they want they know what sort of life they want they've even thought about what sort of human beings they want to bring into this life with your with their partner so please write your vision down write your list your goals your ambitions down and it's not necessarily just about the person the partner you want but write it down about your career your family your spirituality how you want your spirituality to be like your relationships the people you associate with write your list down because when you write your list down and you pray on it god honors it and it also keeps you in check when you stray test the spirit whether it was prophecies oh this is a touchy one so this one is basically i feel like it is specifically for christians because christians are the ones we are what do i say in weakness of this thing once you get a prophecy someone says um you will marry that certain person and you run and you get you even ask for the engagement ring you don't even wait for that person to give you the engagement ring please stop cut 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 please stop here's the thing if you're given a prophecy the word of god says test the spirit what does test the spirit means mean ikizongo what does test the spirit mean it means check with god if this is really what is for you check their character and just because they are called to be with you just because it has been confirmed please go take tests you work with god you know go check just go test you know because who knows if you are wrong who knows if the prophecy was wrong you know and i'm not saying like um you know despise prophecies because the word of god says hold it to a standard you know like it's sacred to honor a prophecy but please test the spirit the same bible that says honor god's prophets and the prophecies they give you that like follow it up is the same word that says test the spirit so don't just go run and for the people who are being told by god that is your wife or that is your husband don't come and tell people you wait for god to tell me why are you the one who is trying to be god and telling people that you have been told that is your wife or that is your husband so you wait for god to tell them eh? wait patiently on the lord be still my friend please be still blood of jesus next one is relationships are not a marathon eh for the people who love to run like we are out of this one let us run to that side eh this this side they are praying for husband let us run Rrr. like my friend if you god has told you your purpose is the one that will start you are not getting anyone najua i am touching your soul i am sorry i wish i could comfort you eh sometimes i wish i could comfort myself but it is the reality like god has a plan you know you cannot understand god's plan there are people who are wasting their time in their like younger days looking for marriage and relationships and god has already predetermined that you will be married in your 50s imagine that or never I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just trying to make you see focus on the important things. Because you know, this like relationships, intimate relationships thing that people idolize so much, it will not be counted in heaven. Like the things that will be counted are your character and your faith. Like when you got to heaven, it akwa tinjoro kwa boyfriend yangu. Like nobody cares about that stuff. You know, njoro will be njoro and you you will be if <laughs> You will be just you, you know, no, and it, God will not come at you also, I see, well, let me not go there because we will annoy people today. So yeah, don't, ra don't rush relationships, let them happen naturally. If you pray about it, you know, if it matters so much to you, pray about it, position yourself in places you will meet good people. You know, if you do not want people who are drinking, stop looking for people in places where people are drinking. You understand? And please, for the people who are just going to churches, to look for people. 
like oh tu uko na kasoro like are you going to worship god or are you going to look for a human being like get your priorities right what is wrong with you hey next one you need to ask is the relationship or the character one soul posture more important and how is it going to affect you or me in the long run this is another thing by the it is hot it is hot check character versus relationship i feel like people they put this to like you know i feel like they're supposed to be one but people have placed them separate you'd rather have wrong character in a relationship rather than have no relationship i don't know if i'm making sense but please character matters if you look at someone let's say if you are female and you look at a guy and if you had a daughter you would not allow even for that male to look at your daughter please what are you doing with them and if you are a male person and you will not allow your son to look at such female why are you dating them eh like to malize to story hapo sindio next one is <sighs> if they did you dirty you can always clean up even nicer and gracefully and with more godly wisdom that makes you a force to be reckoned with so and is speaking to people who have made a wrong move in a relationship like you've gotten into a wrong relationship i need to see border the water of life i am people who have gotten into wrong relationships you know like don't waste your time carrying the baggage of bitterness like the best way for you to succeed again release people release people like forgive move on eh move on it's like i know it happened but move like it did not happen bless them if it really bothers you kneel and tell god bless them that is the best revenge kneel ask god to bless them because let me tell you Jesus knows how to bless people. He blesses people, hey, they change character. For the people who don't understand, you know, like with God all things are possible. You can have it all. You can have your purpose, you can have your relationship, you can have your family, like you can have a whole life. You understand? So don't settle for less because you want one thing to work. Everything can work out perfectly. Just trust God, you know? I'm going to speak about God a lot because I believe nothing in this life can happen right without God. Trust God, you can have it all. You can have the wealth, you can have the relationship, you can have the family, you can have the peace you get. So don't settle for less just because you believe you cannot have it all. The next one is your partner's character will reflect you as when you become one. That is marry or commit so choose wisely this means that whoever you choose as a partner as a wife or as a husband will reflect your character what do i mean by this if your partner is insecure about you like and shows it in personality it will automatically people will automatically see the type of person you are by how that partner reacts also if you say some weird weird stuff you know it translates to how your partner is seen so please be careful who you choose will reflect a lot about you and remember you cannot control people so the person you do not have to you do not have to feel the need to control and also you do not need to be their conscience you understand so choose people who have a god conscience people who have the fear of god in them enough to direct them without you directing them and without you being the like god and the like devil on their shoulder telling them ah uh -uh, yeah uh -uh. next one is start with god commit everything to the lord then he will dictate its fruit this is the thing not give god what god did not give to you don't include god in halves where he did not call you to so what do i mean by this include god in everything commit to the lord whatever you do and you shall succeed meaning everything start with god it will be fed with god and it will end with god if it's meant to end or to continue understand understand
God should be your greatest confidant in all things, especially relationships and interactions. You know, God created us and is the best, is the superstar of relationships and interactions. So if you need to choose well, if you need to interact well, run to God. God, like, show me, show me the way. I don't know how this is done. Just teach me. Understand? Next one is don't put the blame on God. Take accountability and take responsibility. I'm not going to finish reading this one because basically means there are people who get into relationships and then let's say they are not born again. Hmm? This one is directed to all people because it involves all people. You're not, you both got into a relationship and you're both not born again when you get into this relationship. Then things start going uh, back door. Eh? Then one person comes, hey, you know, because everything has started to go like a uh, rock in network back door huh? because things have started going back door you start bringing god's name at i don't feel like at at now i'm born again so i don't want to be with you please no don't use god's name in nonsense take responsibility if you do not want to be with someone do not bring god into a situation where he was not you understand like let god be god have respect for god you know, unless it came from God's mouth to say that I want you to tell that person because I'm telling you God is not stupid. God will never allow you to make someone feel less of. You know, if God tells you to end something, he will know how to show you how to end it. So don't uh, bring insecurities into people in the name of God. Don't use God's name in vain. Don't say that God in the Mwachane. Since when? Eh? And I mean, attacker kuambi you. Oh Jesus Christ! So you know, don't use God's name kiholela holela. Have respect for God's name. Responsibility for your actions. If you do not want to be with someone, please say, be a man, be a woman, be like classy. Say, it is not you, it is me. I feel like this. I feel like this. I am like this. I am like this. It is not fitting into the realm of us. Eh? Chemistry megonga muamba haishiki hakuna reaction unaelewa and end it but don't bring God into things that God is not in you understand hey understand aga matek nyuranyita sawa bye tonana next time like share subscribe